Hi, I'm Tracy from Heidi's Hibiscus Heaven and I thought today that I could show you how I cross-pollinate hibiscus flowers. So I have a beautiful flower out today, it's called Cromwell and um, it's just asking to be pollinated so what I thought was uh, I would have a look around the garden and see if there's anything else that um, would be great to pollinate it with. One of my uh, hibiscus that's always nice and bright is Johnny's Orange. So if we pop over to see Johnny's Orange and see if there's some pollen over here. That is filled with pollen so we've done well here. So what I do is I get a cotton wool bud just like this and I take some of the pollen off the side of it like that. You don't need too much, but hopefully you can see that there and the pollen is on there. Now I'll take this pollen back over to my hibiscus and um, pollinate it. It's a pretty easy process. It's a pretty easy process to do. So what I do is I get that pollen and I put it down there. I rub it on. Hopefully, it is enough to take. So that should be enough to go on the um, that hibiscus and also down here I have got another Cromwell which I can also put pollen on and uh, hopefully this one will seed as well. So putting that one on, it is always best to do it in the morning when they stick a bit better and um, hopefully and uh, once this flower goes a seed pod will grow and um, then in a couple of weeks depending on the temperature of where you live uh, you might grow a seed pod on this flower. You can see that I've tagged them so what's a good idea is to tag them we've got here a cross between Cromwell and Flame. Now Flame is a bright orange flower which is fantastic so that will uh, turn out wonderfully hopefully. Here we have got Tui and Cromwell so that is a uh, bud that's growing well so that could maybe hopefully be in the next week I never really know whether how fast they're going to grow. Down here we've also got a an Isabel Beard and a Cromwell. An Isabel Beard is a lovely purple flower, hopefully. I've got one out. This is the beautiful flower. So I, I don't know what it's going to turn out like, but um, fingers crossed that it all does. So uh, good luck with your pollinating.